Boy, uh, it's so fun to see the kids race for the Easter eggs, right? Isn't it? Typically group or community Easter egg hunts like the one at Snake River Landing or the one in Rigby are separated by age category. As they should be. Because you don't want a four-year-old fighting a 12-year-old for a plastic egg with a Hershey's kiss inside it. (laughs) Right? Right. Me personally, I would stay home. And go buy a bag of candy from Costco or Sam's and say, here you go, kids. Mm-hmm. Or what? I mean, I, you know, I would hide them too. Yeah. But if they wanted. You know, I like what Bob and Linda do on Bob's Burgers, where they do an Easter egg hunt around the house, but they do different eggs for mom and dad and whoever has the last egg found wins. Okay. I think that's super fun. And it's kind of nice because then the adults get to sort of compete too. Second Bob's Burger reference in two episodes. All right. Bob's Burgers rocks. Can we go for three? (laughs) But what typically happens on the Easter egg hunts for kids under four, Mm -hmm. even though the signs clearly say kids under four, Mm -hmm. kids only, no adults. Right. The minute that starter pistol fires or the bell rings or however they start it, one, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. In these community Easter egg hunts, uh, you see, for the first one or two, or maybe even three, if you're lucky, seconds, it's just the cute little toddlers looking for Easter eggs. And then one parent decides to help. Right. One parent. <sighs> Guess what happens after that? It's like it the broken window theory. To, exactly. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. The broken window theory simply uh, theorizes that a house... A vacant home can remain undisturbed in any neighborhood, in any city, in any Mm -hmm. country for years. But once one person throws a rock at one of the windows, it gets vandalized further almost immediately. Right. Until it's, you know, spray painted with graffiti and we up in the hood. Right. Until it's like this derelict (laughs) home that. Right. You might as well torch it. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, which, Which is sad. But it's like the broken window theory. So suddenly it becomes an Easter egg hunt for parents, for parents of four-year-old kids. Every year it happens, no matter how much the media says, hey, don't, or how much the, how, Mm -hmm. How much the the officiators of the event say, okay, parents, please don't do this. And I bet if you asked every single parent individually, you're not going to help, right? No. You're not going to help, right? Mm-hmm. You're not, and went around to the 200 parents. Right. It, the same thing would still happen mm-hmm. because there's some sort of parental panic mode. We we got up, we got dressed for this, we drove here, we've been talking about it. My kids have been looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. I promised them a good time, and then the whole premise of the thing you showed up for is completely destroyed within seconds. And I think it's sad. And and I'm just an old man talking to the breeze at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> it's not going to change. The tides will come and go. Mm-hmm. The sun will rise and set. Yeah. And parents of four-year-old and under kids will panic and try to help them. Oh, I think it's cute. We're helping them. Mm-hmm. No, it's not cute. No. You You're know there what? for a thing that is specifically a thing, and you made it not the thing. No, it's so much cuter okay. to watch them stupidly walk <laughs> over eggs that they should have seen, because they're dumb, and they're babies, and their little baby brains are, are not d- developed yet, you know? Mm-hmm. And honestly, it's just cuter. Really, if we would all just admit and, like, resign ourselves to being like, you know what? It's okay if my kid doesn't win. I want it to be cute. It'd be so much cuter. Where is and, there where is there a grassy area with a gate or a corral around it? So right. kids can get through, but parents can't. That's I love what that we idea. Need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they only have kid size holes. Yeah. You know, only the, the kids and the really, really skinny moms can get in. You, <laughs> <laughs> you must be this short yeah. to enter. Yeah, I love it. And you know what? I have a solution for this too. Mm-hmm. If you're a parent and you're worried about your kid losing at something like this, and you're worried that they're not going to find a single egg, and you're you're just so terrified of what that'll do for their self, their self esteem, or they'll cry, or you don't want to deal with the tears later, any of those reasons are valid. You go to the dollar store. All you do no, is you keep some eggs in your pocket. There. And you then go. when they come up to you later, you preload with a secret stash. Right. When they come up to or you post-load. later. Yeah, well, yeah, when when they come up to you later and they're crying, you very quickly and sneakily, because they're babies, they won't notice, they're stupid, it's fine. <laughs> but you very quickly and sneakily take an egg out of your pocket, toss it at their feet and go, oh, Sydney, look, 
you did find an egg. It's right there. Yeah. And then while they're picking up that egg, you do the same thing right behind him. Oh, my goodness. There's another one. That's all you got to do. Well, yeah. While they're bending down to pick up the first egg, yeah. you drop the second one. Yeah. You basically. <laughs> 15 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They'd even be happy with like five or six eggs. I guarantee it. You know? So genuinely, if that happens, if you go and you do want to help your kiddo, and I get it. You know, I really get that like parental instinct to I protect get it your baby. Too. I'm not condemning. But like, that's your solution, babe. Yeah. You know? So have a plan B. Yeah. Great idea. Carly Morgan, ladies and gentlemen, solving all the world's problems.